XFM 90.9. Hey, take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. Because it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old. Welcome back to Miller Field. This is James Moore and my counterpart, Barry Moore. Looking, What's going on? We're getting excited for another Major League game tonight. The teams playing tonight are the Rotary and the Lions. All right, Lions 1-0. They beat Rotary last time out. Welcome to Tuesday Night Baseball here at Miller Field. We're going to get things started here in a little bit. On the mound for the Rotary tonight is Josh Bond. Pitched well Saturday afternoon. He certainly did. He looks, look, it looks to duplicate his performance because I tell you, he picked a short amount of time for Saturday, so they must have rested him for this game. Well, they didn't have it. He went with two innings, I believe, so he's yeah. got four innings left. So. Still playing with a broken with a hurt finger. Still got oh, a broken yeah. finger. That's right. He's a tough individual. Short in statue, but has a strong arm and made a couple key defensive plays in the win over the chamber of Saturday. All right, leading things off here will be the second baseman, Devontae Walker, as he's in the on-deck circle. Last of the warm-up pitches being thrown. Try to get the lineups for you in a second. Um, First pitch was a ball. And we're underway. Ball one. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes to Devontae. Uh -oh. Looks like Josh is... Three balls, no strikes. How to get started in the line. You need to get those strikes in there and start being consistent. If this way it's going to go, it's going to be a very long game. Three balls, no strikes to Devontae. There's pitch and is in there for a strike. Three and one. Looks like the clouds are coming in the sky and the night is upon us. There's the pitch. Strike two. Wow, two Goes to full count. Us. Full count to Devontae. Swing and a miss. Oh. Struck him out. Where one down. That's going to bring up Hunter McCraw, the pitcher, affectionately known as Quick Draw through these parts. Hunter, Quick Draw McCraw looks at a ball one. Looks like Josh Baum was able to get back into the rotation and catch the first battle. Let's see what he has in store for the second one. Swing and a missed strike. One and one to McGraw. Quick draw McGraw, huh? Let's see what he has in store at the bat. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes to quick draw. I understand his grandma likes it when he gets called a swing and a miss. Oh, Goes down. Struck, out. struck him out, two down. Quick draw was a little too quick. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Brings up DJ Coleman. Ball one to DJ. First pitch is a ball. Ball one. No strikes, two down to DJ. Swing and a miss. One and swing. And a one and one. Looks like Josh Bong has come to play today. Wind getting up, string and a miss. Might have got a little piece of it, but regardless of, it's one ball, two strikes, two down. There's the pitch, swing and a miss, wow. and that will do it for the top half of the first. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. Going to the bottom half of the first. We'll be back shortly. 
make more friends and express their individuality. T T. When they learn to play the music, act or paint or dance or write creatively. Hot from the toaster and filled with the essential creative thinking skills of an 18th century musical genius, Mozart Toasties are an important part of an arts-healthy childhood. Studies show that involvement in the arts helps kids increase test scores and promotes academic achievement. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. The arts. Ask for more. Brought to you by Americans for the Arts, the NAM Foundation, and the Ad Council. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer with Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. What does your world sound like? That's geography. The music of the world around you. Geography is people, places, environments, and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org. It's part of a free National Geographic-led campaign to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org to learn more and get your free parent and teacher action kits. It's a wonderful world. Back to Miller Field. Bottom of the first. We've got the rotary up to bat. Leading off of the rotary will be Brandon Parrish. He's catching tonight. Trying to get you set. Um, the Lions. We got uh, defensively. We got uh, Devontae Walker, second base. Tom McCraw pitching. DJ Coleman. He is playing outfield. Here we go. Here we go. Brandon Parrish to lead things off to catcher. Let's see what quick draw McGraw can do. And here is the first pitch. Right in there. Right in there for one. a strike. Way to start the inning off with a strike. Raw. One ball, one strike. Just outside for ball one. Looks like McGraw has a strong arm as well. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. From McGraw here. Brandon steps in and there's a pitch in his eyes. Just high. For a ball, two balls, two strikes. I tell you, McGraw's bringing the heat, but he's a little off target. Let's see what he has for this pitch. And he winds up and. Ooh, just high. outside. We're going to get a runner to first. Oh, actually, no. Three balls, two back. strikes. Here's the pitch. A little bit of a He pop. lost him. <laughs> he will advance the first Base on time. balls. For Brandon, that will bring up the pitcher, Josh Bond. Let's see what Mr. McGraw One has on. in store. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Good pitch, good pitch. Mr. McGraw is bringing the heat. No balls. One strike. One runner on. Here in the bottom half of the first, there's a oh, swing. Oh, contact, good hit, out to deep center, and it's a home, it's a run. home run. Yes, indeed. Josh Bond, oh. number 10, goes yard. Two runs come across. Good start. For the rotary. For the rotary. 
They take an early two to nothing lead with no outs in the bottom of the first. Please return the home run ball to the press box. <laughs> and PA yeah, announces asks us to return the home run ball to the press box. <laughs> Souvenir for a youngster. I bring up Peyton Lawson, first baseman. What well, the catcher's coming out to talk to his pitcher. Doesn't like what he saw on that last pitch. They're gonna work it out. Let's see a quick draw McGuire can get it together. I'm sure it was something he didn't like because he <laughs> left here in a hurry. <laughs> Yeah, the Rotary's got the record so far for the home runners in this major league so far. Yes, indeed. Matt Hart had one Sarah in. Swing fouled Swing away. Miss. Strike. One strike. For Mr. Lawson. Let's see what the pitcher has in store. Mr. Hunter winding up. Swing and a strike. miss. Evidently, the catcher must have told him something good. Two strikes to start off. No balls, two strikes. No outs. Mr. Lawson. In his eyes. Wow, he gets him looking. All right, that's the way Struck to do it, Hunter McGraw. Throw them strikes. Great job, Mr. Brings up McGraw. Matt Hart. Clean up hitter. Hit a home run, like he said, on Saturday. Yes, indeed. Two run shot. Here's the pitch. Up high. Mm, high and out. Ball one. I bet you do that to the chunk the entire time here. <laughs> Matthew's probably a little sore. He got hit by a pitch on Saturday as well. Uh, Swing strike. and a miss. Well, it snipped it. Strike one. One ball, one strike. They got one out up on the scoreboard. That's correct. Let's see what quick draw McGraw has in store for us. He's winding up and... Oh, Matt makes contact deep. Uh, and he it's said goodbye. Again. Another home run from Matt Hart, the number two on the year. And more importantly, brings in another run across. Excellent, excellent contact on the bat by Matt Hart. I tell you, this guy has a future in baseball. <laughs> And out comes the manager to the mound. He's got to talk it over with Mr. McGraw. Just give him some words of encouragement and see what happens. It's not that Hunter's doing bad or throwing bad pitches. It's just Rotary's on the ball today. Yeah, Rotary looks like they were well prepared tonight and looks like so far so good. Please return the home run ball well, to the press box. What do you think, Barry? What, do you, what advice would you give the pitcher in this sense? Throw strikes. Throw strikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what every manager and coach can say, but I don't know what you can tell a young man. Is. Well, actually, he is throwing strikes. They're just leaving yeah, here. He's throwing uh, some heck of a pitches, but the guys are just making contact. I tell you, maybe he have to change his, his pitch up a little bit for his speed. We'll see what happens at this. Now bring Ben Inch to the plate. Oh, yeah. Here comes to this Big place Ben. In your bad order. Here's the pitch. Ooh, ben, ben had to duck on that one to avoid getting hit. Ball one. And the second baseman. Here's the pitch. A little high. Two balls. Two balls, no strikes to Inge. Let's see what Mr. Hunter, Hunter McGraw has in store for us. Here goes with the wind up and Swing. Strike. Good pitch there. Miss. Two balls, one strike to Inge. Here comes Hunter again. Oh, a little ball. high. That ball got away from him, Barry. Ball is high. Three balls, one strike. Three and one to Inge. He's set. Here's the pitch. Ooh, ball four high. Mr. Ed base is on take balls. Base first base. Up to that, Thomas Parrish. This will bring up Thomas Parrish, the third baseman. Just one out on that scoreboard. Three runs. Coming on off of two home runs on a walk. Ball. Ball is high. 
One ball, no strikes, one out. Hi, Thomas. Come on, buddy. You doing? Mr. Thomas Parrish. Here we go. He set. Swing oh, and a miss. Good pitch by Hunter McGraw. That was one of his was better pitches. Pitch. One ball, one strike, one out. Hunter eyes the first baseman. Make sure the runner doesn't take off. Checks him a bit. Here's the pitch. Huh. Time is called. Looked like a good pitch, but the manager for the Rotaries called timeout. Yep. The count is two balls, two balls one, one strike. strike. A little advice from the manager, and up again. Here he goes. Two balls, one strike, one down. And here's the pitch. Huh? Three balls, one strike, one down. Looks like the manager gave him a little button advice. Yeah, pull back though. Yeah, kidding. Good decision by the batter. Thomas Parrish. Still high. Brings it 3-2, I believe. Full count. Full count on Mr. Persh. Let's see what Hunter has in store. Here's his windup. Mr. McGraw. Pitches low. Ooh, low, ball. low. Runner's going to advance to second. And Base Mr. on Parrish balls. Take first. That brings up uh, Justin Harvey. Okay. Looks like we have another coach. Looks like Mr. Hart coming to get Justin a Justin Harvey. The right fielder, yes, first time up. Left-hander, two on, one down. Rotary coaches are definitely giving some advice to their players. See what it happens with it. Here comes Mr. Hunter's windup. Mr. Quick Draw McGraw pitches a ball, ball high. high. First pitch, one ball is the count, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. One down. That pitch is outside the zone for another ball. Two balls, no strikes. One out. Ball. Uh-oh. Mr. McCraw. Getting in a jam at Pierce. Let's see what he can do. Trying hard to get across the plate here. Three and oh is the count. Only one out on that scoreboard. They're going to be uh -oh. taken for a while. Base I mean, loaded. Walked him. That loads them up. I tell you, they would certainly wish huh? that they had Matt Hart up the bat again. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Josh that brings, Bong. <laughs> that brings up Allende Meredith with uh -oh. the bases loaded. He had a good showing on Saturday, so it's a likelihood that a runner will come home. Once again, one of the managers for the Lions goes to the mound, giving a little... Constructive criticism. How many times has he been to the man? <laughs> about second time. Well, second time, I guess. Third time gets taken out. Yeah. Yes, sir. I thought it was the second time. But really? Well, we shall we'll see. We'll find out. Hmm. Give him a little advice. The Lions don't have a whole lot of pitching depth, so they, got, they can't be, they, they really cannot afford to be pulling out the pitcher here in the first uh -oh. inning. McCraw still in there, so evidently I was wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Let's see what happens here. Bases are full. Fayende, center fielder, looks at a ball in his eyes. One ball. No, they call that a strike. The strike zone is getting a little wider here with the bases loaded, looks like. <laughs> Uh oh, pitch ball got gets away by. from him. Nobody moves. Runner still so we got one ball, one first. strike, one down. Base is loaded once again. One and one is the kill. Here comes Mr. McGraw's pitch. And here he goes. Oh, swing. Foul ball foul right there on the face brace line. Good swing, just a foul. Two strikes, one ball for Mr. Murdoff. As the second baseman hustles to bring the ball back to the pitcher. Let's see what Mr. McGraw has in store for us. Here's his windup and his pitch is a ooh, hit by Mr. Murder for a base RBI. Hit to the shortstop. Throw in time is not in time on the One. field of choice. One run will score. And that's gonna be the second out of the inning. But runners are in score position, one on third, and Mr. Murder was Two able down. to take a base hit the first. Uh, field is choice.
correct. Good, good call, Barry. Men on the corner, two down. Ooh, swing and a miss. Big swing, big miss. This pitch. is Bobby McWilliams. Big swing, big miss for the first swing. Left fielder. Oh! Oh, oh almost a dot. Oh, did he get him? Yes, he did. Great play by the shortstop to end the end. To the shortstop. Got him for the third out. We'll be back shortly. They know they're quite nutritious and so delicious. They'll lick the dishes and soon you'll realize how impactful the kids in Bob and the Bears can be. They'll get better grades, make more friends, and express their individuality. T T When they learn to play the music, act or paint or dance or write creatively. Hot from the toaster and filled with the essential creative thinking skills of an 18th century musical genius, Mozart Toasties are an important part of an arts-healthy childhood. Studies show that involvement in the arts helps kids increase test scores and promotes academic achievement. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. The arts. Ask for more. Unable to drive a car, read a book, or even see the faces of loved ones. But thanks to the Foundation Fighting Blindness, I also learned that there's hope. They sent me a wonderful packet on macular degeneration and told me about a great new clinical trial right in my area, testing a promising new treatment that could halt my vision loss. To find out more about this and other treatments and to receive your free information packet, contact the Foundation Fighting Blindness at 800-529-2004. That number again is 800-529-2004. Quick, what do these sounds have in common? <laughs> these are the sounds of geography. Geography helps us... Welcome back. Top of the second inning as the train goes by. And probably my brother-in-law, Trippy Sproul, going to work, I mean. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> I know his wife thinks so. All right, we're back. First pitch. First pitch with a ball. This is Josh. No, this would be Jacob Morris, the catcher. One ball, one strike to Jacob. Josh Bond still on the mound, throwing it. One, two balls, one strike. I can't see nothing for the coach in the way. <laughs> the big coach there, you know. Yeah, he's he's a very big wide. coach. <laughs> and I, oh, I done this it's two balls, two strikes. That was a strike. Surely I'm not going to tell Mr. Lee much. He's a pretty big guy. Looks like the, <laughs> the clouds are definitely coming in. Hopefully the rain will hold off. Three balls, two strikes, full count. Let's see what Josh has in store for this pitch. All right, full count. Here we go. He's set, and here's the pitch. Ball high. That's going to walk Mr. Morris. He's going to bring up Keon Booth. The Lions get their first base runner for the game. That's right. Keon moved the batter. Wind is rocking there, dude. I think it's a train this time. Uh, you think it's a train? <laughs> I tell you, it certainly has gotten dark out there. Yes, it has. And we're going to have a little meeting on the mound here as we wait for Keon to step in. Keon Booth. First baseman, he gets set, he's a right-hander. There's the pitch. Oh, the Low. runner's going to second. And he's going to stand up in the vent. All right, we got one ball, no strikes. And the runner did advance. Here we go. Low. Three balls, no strikes. Two balls. Too many. Two balls, no strikes. That's 
The run is going to steal third and stand up and get there. Lions didn't have a base runner in position to score if necessary on an RBI. Any, get in there any kind of way, <laughs> on a fly ball or whatever. Should be anyway. Has a three ball. He walked him. Uh oh, Josh so, Bong is in the bind. You reckon the coach is going to send the first baseman to try and run down the second? And I'm pretty sure of it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> we, that's what I would do. <laughs> Boo Hart steps in, another right-hander. And with Boo at the plate, I'm sure they want to get the guy to second as soon as possible. He's getting ready. Looks like he's ready to sprint. Let's see what happens. Boo Hart. My buddy Boo. Ooh. 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 Boo just, what? Boo's like, I ain't moving on that plate. I'm just <laughs> <swimming."> Josh. <laughs> Ball one to Ooh, Boo. A hard pitch. Every time I see Boo, I want him to say, Mr. Fredrickson, please open the door from <laughs> up. <laughs> Two balls, no strikes to Boo as he takes a mighty cut. Six yes, wow. it is. Let's see what Josh has in store for this one. Strike right down the middle. And I believe Booth has not gone yet. But... They're not going to throw it to him because they're down the, with the man on third. So mm -hmm. here we go. Here's the pitch. See what the Two balls, one strike. There he, goes. there he goes. He was just waiting for the safest <laughs> possible <laughs> opportunity yeah, yeah. to go. I guess so. <laughs> anyway, back to we're three and one. Boo. Good opportunity here for Mr. Hart. Runners on second and third. Here's the pitch from Bond. Three and one is the count. Vaughn gets set. There's the throw. Swing. Got a piece of it. Making it full count. Three balls, two strikes to Boo. Pitch number 30 for Josh. 30 pitches so far, you said? Okay, this is the 30th pitch for Vaughn. And that's a ball four to load him up. And that's going to bring up number two, Adam Shelton. Looks like the Lions are in good position. The Left Lions fielder. Good position, the base is loaded. And here comes Randy. And here comes Randy. Coach will have a meeting of the minds on the mound. Talk some strategy over with his pitcher and see what happens. I tell you, Barry, the Lions are in good position right now to even the score with a, a home run or at least to get a base hit and get back yeah, in this game. I'm sure they're thinking base knock more than home run. <laughs> but uh, you're right, a home run would tie it up. But uh, with, uh, I'm sure the Lions are just looking for anything to get a run across here. And um, not a lot. Uh, with, um, here comes Shelton. we go. Vaughn taking his time. I think they were missing a ball. Uh-oh. needed a ball. <laughs> That's what you have to have to play baseball. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Up to back, Adam Shelton. On deck, Jeremy Worth. And here we go. Looks like there's the pitch low for a ball. Hmm. Ball one. Josh really studied that pitch before he threw it. It looked like he was going to throw a strike, but he threw a ball. One ball, no strike. Nobody out. Bases are full. Mm. That one got away, but no throw. Came bounce. He threw it hard enough to bounce right back to the catcher, <laughs> which was a good thing because um, a run would definitely have scored. Here we go. Two balls, no strikes. No outs. And here's the pitch. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a ball, but it looks like the Lions are taking it any way they can get a run. Three and zero. I'm sure he's taking it here all the way. And he's took a strike. Three and one. Mr. Josh Bong able to hang in there a little longer. Three one. Nobody out. Bases are full. There's the pitch. Ball. Oh, no. Well, they call it a strike. strike. Full count. Full count. Three balls, two strikes, nobody out. And that one's in the dirt. And that will force in a run. 
making it what's that four, four to, to one. one four to one one run in that brings up Jeremy Worley bases loaded one right to fielder the Lions. Up to bat, Jeremy Worley. still nobody out here here's the pitch the ball in the dirt low Josh had an awesome problem all of a sudden the um no no throw here comes the manager back and to the mound. Oh, see a change. And here comes the change. Looks like he's over exhausted himself. And here comes Mr. Lawson to the mound. Peyton Lawson. They didn't want to do that this early. They wanted to wait till 30 to do this. Peyton Lawson will be your new pitcher here. Going to give him some warm up pitches. Peyton, a tall kid. Yeah, he's about the tallest one on the team, right, Barry? He's taller than I am. But I <laughs> I was up in the press box earlier with um, during the minor league game, and he came up, and he's very tall. Yeah, like a Randy Johnson, huh? <laughs> Don't have the mustache yet, but he's yeah. still young. <laughs> he's still young. <laughs> Give him time. <laughs> well, he did have some sad news on the point of the not away middle school. I mean, not away JV team lost to Southampton 15 to nothing. Wow. The varsity lost nine to one, I believe, to Southampton as well. So, mm. not a good day to be a Cougar. Well, it depends on what you mean by that word, Cougar. <laughs> yes, sir, yes. I'm speaking of baseball right now. <laughs> the <laughs> animal, it, um, definitely. Well, according to the the latest thing, the the Cougar is actually now considered extinct. So, you know, of course, I don't know how it could be with all these. <laughs> Sightings they see around here, but um, <laughs> according to some other people, maybe it's a special cougar that it is. I don't know. But uh, anyway, we're waiting for our Mr. Mr. Lawson. Lawson to, uh, and we're waiting. And he's inherited three base runners as well. Of course, they won't go to him in the scorebook, but it doesn't make much difference. <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, unless he gets them all out here. And this is still Chris, or is this Whirly still? Whirly there. Still Whirly? All right. There'll be a change. Matt's going to go to first base, and uh, Josh goes to shortstop. All right, Matthew to first base. Josh goes to shortstop. And we're getting set here. Jeremy Whirly is getting ready to step in with the bases loaded. Here we go. Go out. Mr. Lawson, here's the pitch. Ball. Ball one. Ball two, I'm sorry. two balls, no strikes. And one ball must have... Mm, got away, some got away, huh? You can't trust the scoreboard. Two, you hear the ball. two balls, one... Yeah, 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 yeah that's correct. Inherit a ball from Josh Ball. Josh Ball. Here's the pitch. Hello, here comes no, no throw. He dancing down on third, but no no indication. A little bit of strategizing by the coaches. They don't want to make an out here base running, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> Not with the top of the order coming up. Still nobody out. And he's walked him. So that's going to bring in another run. That's Lions in a great position right now. Yes, they are. That's going to bring up Devontae Walker. And he did what last time? Uh, they didn't even go through the batting order. Uh, uh, this is Tucker, excuse me. Chris Tucker, excuse me. <laughs> Chris Tucker is a famous actor and comedian from Rush Hour. I wonder if this guy... As in the humor in him. <laughs> Swing and a miss Strike to Mr. One. Tucker. Strike one. Still nobody out though. Bases are still full. <coughs> I think the Lions will be just as happy with another walk if they can get it. <laughs> Good as a hit. Swing and a miss. Uh oh. One ball. No, two, no balls, two strikes. Mr. Tucker is swinging. Let's see what Mr. Lawson has in store for him. Inside for ball one. <coughs> one ball, two strikes. Down 
low for wow. another ball. Two balls, two strikes. That pitch appeared to get away from Mr. Was, Lawson. As they used to call a worm burner there on the ground there. And Mr. Lawson gets set. Tough position to come in, I tell you. Good eye, they call. So that's ball three. Three balls, two stuff. strikes. Still nobody out. Crucial pitch here coming up. You don't want to see the dreaded infield fly rule in effect here either. Got him. Got him looking. Good Strike pitch three. Mr. Lawson. For the first out of the inning, that brings the top of the lineup, Devontae Walker, now. He is uh, struck out last time. He struck out last time. But. Up to bat, Devontae Walker on deck, on the cross. Here we go, Lawson set to throw. Strike one, one ball, I mean it's no, one strike, no balls. Good pitch by Mr. Lawson. First base from Matt Hart, giving some advice to the base runner. <laughs> A little strategizing on his part. <laughs> one ball, one strike to Walker. Bases are full, but do we do have one out finally put up on the scoreboard? Mr. Lawson. Tall right hander. Gets set. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Good throw, good throw by Peyton Lawson. One, one ball, out. two strikes. Caught the batter like looking. Ball, 2-2, two, two. one down, 4-2 to two ball game here in the top of the second. And Hunter McCraw on deck. Here we go, here is the pitch from Lawson. Strike is called. Good that pitch was looking. Mr. Lawson, I tell you. Struck him out, two down, that brings up... <clears throat> Hunter McCraw. Peyton Lawson was put in a tough position to come in with bases loading, but so far he's doing a pretty good job. He struck out as well last time, I believe. Fouled it out of back behind the home. For That's the first contact we've had in quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hunter is a good hitter. He need to hit the uh, He's an all-star as well from last year on the minor league. Above his head for a ball. One ball, one strike, two down. Bases are still full. That pitch sailed on Mr. Lawson just a hair. Let's see what he has up for us next. There's a swing. It's going to drop. Oh, what a play. Double play. play. By Double play. Base Unneeded, but it could have been. But for the third out. Great catch. Where the stretch is. But they got up. two, left three on. Will be Actually, they got there with no hits, didn't they? Yeah. No <laughs> hits, no runs, but three left. Two runs, but three left. We'll As we're going to, we're going to take the break, and we'll be right back. The helpful folks at Ace share a true commitment to providing customers with expert advice, plus everything you'll need to get the job done right. So we're proud to say that Ace was ranked highest in customer satisfaction among major home improvement stores by J.D. Power & Associates. For all your home improvement needs, visit your neighborhood Ace and do it yourself, not on your own. Ace, the helpful place. For J.D. Power & Associates award information, visit jdpower.com. Shop your local Ace hardware store at Bevel's in Blackstone. Half of young Americans can't locate economic powers like Japan and India. 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. Without geography, our children aren't ready for the world. Geography is everywhere. It's incredible creatures. Rhythm. Fashion. Flavor. It's economics. And politics. It's change. 
Understanding connections between people and places is critical in the 21st century. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org for your free parent and teacher action kits. Because kids who understand... And we're back. Sorry there, Mr. S Mr. Moore. Didn't mean to step on you there. We're back, though. McCraw still on the mound. Looks a little bit better for him. It's four to two here. Right, so we'll bring up leadoff will be Josh Tiller for the Rotary. Here in the top of the, no, bottom of the, top of the, bottom of the second. Bottom of the second. Leading off for Rotary in the bottom of the second inning is Josh Tiller, point deck Brandon Perry. Bottom of the second here at Miller Field. Everybody looking at the sky. <laughs> Trying to get Apparently there's a few drops starting to fall now. Uh-oh. Trying, Trying to get the ball in from the outfield was a chore, I believe. Here we go. Strike. As the rain starts to come down just a hair. We're playing rain, it's not lightning. No balls, one strike. There's a swing and a miss for strike two. The crowd runs and stands there. <laughs> Everybody's afraid of getting wet. There's the pitch. The rain starts to come down just a tad bit hard. One ball, two strike, and it's coming down pretty hard. We can hear it pretty well in the elephant here. Struck him. No. Struck him out. Lead off hitter Brandon Parrish. He scored last time. Walked and scored. And the rain is coming down kind of hard. I'm glad we're in this elephant. <laughs> the rain isn't bothering Quick Draw McGraw so far. He's pitching pretty steady. Two balls, no strikes. One down. That's low for a ball, 3-0. and oh. He don't need to labor here any more than he has to. He's Strike one, nice right pitch. down the middle, 3-1. Nice 3-1 three and one. Three and one to Brandon. He said he walked last time up and scored off the... Wow! 3-2, and two, pretty nice. pitch. Great pitch by Mr. McGraw. Wide swing. <laughs> Walked him. That will bring up Josh Bond, who homered last time up. Wet ball is probably not the pitcher's friend. Beginning to look strange. Oh. There's another hit. Looks like it's going to be a double. Possibly a triple. Into right center field. Josh Bonds rounding. One run will score. Here comes. They hold him up. RBI. A triple. triple. RBI triple. Uh, two hits away from the cycle. He got hit. two of the hard ones. Great hit by Josh Bond there. This guy's going to be a that brings up player. Peyton Lawson. And Matthew Hart on deck. Peyton, he was on lay. Struck out last time. It looks like the rain has stopped, though. It sounds like it is. Anyway. Josh Barnes still in hole. And he gets there. He got there. Got home. All right. Five to two now on the score. That's a big run. That's a big run. All right, Peyton will step back in. It will give um, swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes, one down. 
One run has come in here in the bottom of the second. Here's the pitch. Strike. Got him looking. Two outs. That brings up Matthew Hart, who homered last time up. Number two for the year so far. Big right-hander, nicknamed Cobra. Swing, fouled it back. No balls, one strike. Two down to Matthew Hart. Here's the pitch. It's gonna hard hit. Oh, hard hit. Hard hit right up the middle. To the fence. To the fence. Looks like it's going to be a double for he, Mr. Hart. He stops stand up double for Matthew Hart. They run it in. Brings up Ben Inge. Making it. No. <laughs> this is Thomas. No, Benjamin Inge, excuse me. John Thomas is his younger brother. Another right-hander. Ball for a low, ball one, low. One ball, no strikes. Two down. Matthew Hart on second base. Matt looks like he's a little anxious to take third. Here we go, here's the pitch. That was right in there, Danny Pipe for strike. That was a pretty pitch. You won't get many like that, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> the water hit us? No, that's I think <laughs> Helen's trying to tell us something. Oh, the second baseman has trouble with it, and the runner's going to be safe at first. Matt Hart advanced to third, and Tank ain't thinking about trying to steal home. Brings <laughs> up Thomas. Striking the water off top of the Thomas Parrish. <laughs> Inge hit to the second base side. Got there in time. Ben, uh, Matthew Hart to the third base. This is Thomas Parrish. Two down. I'm sure Mr. Inge will be taking off here pretty soon. He walked last time, Mr. Parrish. All right, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Two down. Two on. Here in the bottom of the second. There's a lot of twos up there. Strike. One ball, two strikes. Ooh, nice pitch that time. Here's the pitch. Swing. Strike. That's going to end it. Strike him out. And that will end it. But, what is that? I can't see it, Robbie. What is the score, Bear? 6-2. 6 to 2. Six to two. Going to the top of the third, and we'll be right back after these messages. Mozart talks, talks his heart's so very great. Kids rejoice when Mozart's on their plate. They know they're quite nutritious. And so delicious. They'll lick the dishes. And soon you'll be nice. How impactful the kids in the arts can be. They'll get better grades, make more friends, and express their Hot from the toaster and filled with the essential creative thinking skills of an 18th century musical genius, Mozart Toasties are an important part of an arts-healthy childhood. Studies show that involvement in the arts helps kids increase test scores and promotes academic achievement. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. The arts. Ask for more. I'm able to drive a car, read a book, or even see the faces of loved ones. But thanks to the Foundation Fighting Blindness, I also learned that there's hope. They sent me a wonderful packet on macular degeneration and told me about a great new clinical trial right in my area, testing a promising new treatment that could halt my vision loss. To find out more about this and other treatments and to receive your free information packet, contact the Foundation Fighting Blindness at 800-529-2004. That number again is 800-529-2004. Quick, what do these sounds have in common? <laughs> 
These are the sounds of geography. Geography helps us understand connections between people and people. All right, and we're back. This is DJ Coleman at the plate. Strike. Trying to play between the raindrops here. This is the top of the third. Swing and a miss. DJ. He struck out last time. DJ played basketball and football as well. Talented young man. And six man off the first man off the bench on his basketball team. Gave us a few minutes. Wants to continue the championship ways here for the Ball is low. Two balls, two strikes. It like, sounds like some hail. Look like most of the crowd has dispersed because of the rain. There's the pitch. That's a little outside for a ball. Three balls, two strikes. To Mr. Coleman. Full count. Yeah, Mr. Lawson is... Came in and... There's a pitch. Strike is called. Struck him out looking. Brings up Jacob Morris. He walked last time. One out, no runners on base. They need to keep picking away here. Because you don't know what this rain is going to do. You don't want to call it early. There's the pitch. That's high for a ball. I tell you, Mr. Lawson is going to have to ice that arm tonight. <laughs> one ball, no strikes, one down. Swing and a miss, strike two. Pitch from Lawson, and a little high in his eyes. <laughs> two balls, one strike is on the scoreboard. Is that right? All right? Two balls, one strike. Payton set way inside for ball. Three and one. Three and one here. Will he be taken? I don't know. Here's the pitch. Swing. Foul out of play. Three balls, two strikes. Full count. To Mr. Morris. Let's see what Mr. Payton Lawson has in store for us. Jacob Morris. Here we go. Swing and a miss. Great pitch by Mr. Got Lawson. him. Struck him out. Brings up two down. This is Keon Booth to the plate. Two out. He walked last time. Two down. Nobody on. Peyton kind of cruising here. Ball one. One ball. No strikes. Two down. Rain is continuing to fall here at Millerfield. Oh, one ball, one strike. Uh oh. Two balls and one strike to Mr. Booth. And the rain is falling pretty hard now. <laughs> Here we go. Lawson is set. There's a pitch. High up. Way high. Three balls, one strike. Three balls, one strike. Two down. And here comes 
comes the rain again and the wind. Swing and a miss. Lawson. Good pitch. Full count. Three balls, two strikes. Full count. Lost him. He gets a base on balls. First. Brings up Boo Hart. First run on base for the Lions in quite some time. Boo walked last time as well. And that rough patch for Mr. Bond when he walked a few. So we're set with Boo Hart at the plate. One on, two down. And pitches outside and low for a ball. Hart digs in. Yeah. Ooh. Runner will advance to second. Pitch got away from the catcher. Definitely got away from him. Went to the fence. Needless to say, that's another ball to Mr. Boo. So we set. There's two balls, no strikes. Runner advances to second on the wild pitch. Swing and a miss. Two balls, one strike to Boo. Swinging that aluminum bat. Rain is starting and to here, come yes down. Yes, it is, is Mr. Moore. is coming down. Want to know how much longer they're going to go. <laughs> yeah, it's fouled down at first base side. Let it go, young man. First base with Matt Hart will retrieve it, throw it back to the pitcher. You don't get a hot dog for that. You know. <laughs> no hot dog for that one. <laughs> no hot dog for that one. I heard a young gentleman earlier say, I'm going to stay here until I get a foul ball because I want a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> so he has to work hard in this rain to get one. Three balls, two strikes to Mr. Hart. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, three balls, two strikes. Trying to watch it between the raindrops. Mm. Boo, steps in. Let's see what Mr. Lawson has in this pitch. Full count. Here's the pitch. They caught him looking. Struck him out. Caught him looking. That will end it. No runs, no hits. One left. As we're going to the bottom of the third. commitment to providing customers with expert advice, plus everything you'll need to get the job done right. So we're proud to say that Ace was ranked highest in customer satisfaction among major home improvement stores by JD Power and Associates. For all your home improvement needs, visit your neighborhood Ace and do it yourself, not on your own. Ace, the helpful place. For JD Power and Associates award information, visit jdpower.com. Shop your local Ace Hardware store at Bevels in Blackstone. Half of young Americans can't locate economic powers like Japan and India. 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. Without geography, our children aren't ready for the world. Geography is everywhere. It's incredible creatures. Rhythm, fashion, flavor, it's economics, and politics, it's change. Understanding connections between people and places is critical in the 21st century. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org for your free parent and teacher action kits. Because kids who understand our world today can succeed in it tomorrow. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can serve the internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. 
Don't just buy stuff. Two steps. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. And we're back here at Miller Field during the raindrops. This is going to be Justin Harvey to start things off here. Has a strike. By Mr. McGraw, who brought the heat. He walked last time as well, Justin. Here's a hit. Fouled into the dugout on the third base side. Two strikes. No balls, two strikes to Mr. Harvey. Let's see what Mr. McGraw has in store for us. And here comes the rain again. He looks at a ball. One ball, two strikes to Mr. Harvey. Here's the pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Started out in the hole, but has battled back to make it 2-2. Two -two. Left-hander. Swing and a miss. Good pitch by Mr. McGraw. To strike that's out the batter. I thought well, it, we thought it was two. Let's get... That's yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to help the up out on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and he needs all the help he can get sometimes. <laughs> so. Just kidding. That brings up Allende Meredith. He singled the first time up. Allende Meredith. Mr. McGraw checking with his catcher to see what pitch they might want. Looks like it's going to be some conversation on whether the game should be called or not. Someone told me it's all lightning, they'll call it so and so lightning. Yeah. Well, it looks Looking like at the sky for lightning, so far no good, so far. Mr. Barry Moore, did this happen before when they played? They played uh, last uh, Friday. Chamber and Lions, yeah. They only got a half inning in. Wow. Let's see what happens. The umpire discussion with the managers. And this is the... And he's gonna. Yeah. They're gonna call it. It seems like. They said it looks like that's what I thought the signal was. Everybody's coming off of the field. Looks like that's gonna do it for us, right? I don't. Well, I don't know. Is that what he said? Well, unfortunately, due to uh, the rain. Yes, it is. That just announced it has been postponed due to rain. And the date and time will be determined at a later date. Well, that'll do it here at Miller Field. I'm James Moore, and this is Barry Moore. Good night, everybody. Thank you for tuning in.